Hello there. Today, I want to talk to you about navigation in ReSharper. Uh, it is one of the key pillars of ReSharper, really. It's very powerful functionality, allowing you to navigate around your code, find the things that you want to work on, and very quickly get to where you want to be. When ReSharper first opens a project, we index uh, all of the files that are in there, but we're not just indexing text, we're also indexing the actual structure of the file as well, so we can understand uh, what symbols are being used for type names, for method names, properties, uh, symbols, and so on. And we'll have a look at this as we go through. Now, the very first bit of functionality I want to show is uh, the key thing you want to learn, which is the Search Everywhere pop-up. This is the uh, Control T uh, keyboard shortcut, if you're using the Visual Studio keyboard shortcuts. And from here, you can get to any way that you want to go. A lot of the features for navigation are designed to uh, answer a question for you, to get you somewhere where you want to be. So the Search Everywhere where, uh, dialog is designed to get you somewhere when you know where it is that you want to go. So you can use this to, to navigate directly to a file. When you first open it, for example, it shows you recent files, or you can just start typing and it will start to filter down uh, for you straight away. You can put in a, uh, a file name and select that and it'll quickly open, or you can type in uh, names of a type, such as member reference, and it will uh, very quickly navigate you directly to the file and also to the uh, entry within the file, which starts to define the type itself. There's a lot of useful things you can do here. So uh, if, if we have a look at it now, you can see that there's a number of things being shown straight away. We call it search everywhere because it's actually searching across all the different uh, things that you can navigate to. So we've got type names, file names, uh, symbol names in there as well. And so it's a very quick way of uh, navigating around your code. If you know where you want to go, just start typing and it'll take you there. You don't have to type the full name either. So you can actually start uh, typing uh, shortcuts. So we can do something like mref, and it will take you to uh, member reference, method reference, module reference, and so on. So it's a very quick way of, of navigating around. So for example, we've got in this list here, method reference comparer tests. We can just start typing uh, mrct. And just by using the, the camel humps of the names there, we can very quickly uh, narrow down the search results there to get to where you want to be. And this is a surprisingly effective way of uh, navigating around your code base. Uh, just by using the initial letters of everything, you can very quickly get to where you want to be. Now, it's just not um, uh, it's not just uh, types that we uh, search, but uh, also symbols and methods and, uh, as well. And if you want to narrow down the search, you can just repeatedly use the keyboard shortcut to change what it is you want to look at. So the first time you use the Control T keyboard shortcut, it shows you search everywhere. The second time, it narrows it down to just show uh, type names. And here we can just start typing again, and it'll just now just show um, type names itself. If we hit it again, then uh, we've got a, another type of search here, which is based on text. So when we index the files, we're also in indexing the text that's inside the file, as well as um, the symbols that are there as well. So this is very useful if you want to just search for something like an if statement. You know, so if, if there's a particular if statement, you can go and find it. It's really useful for things like string literals. If you've got something in a log, which is giving you a, a log message there, you can then just start searching for uh, a string literal there. And you can uh, you can find the the value that you want to very quickly and navigate around. There are other types of search as well, which have slightly different keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so Control Shift and T will uh, give you the ability to find files. And so again, we can start typing here, and this will just show you files and uh, folders as well. So if you select a file, it it will uh, open that file in the editor. But it also shows you folders, and if you select that, it will show you the folder in the Solution Explorer. We also have Shift, Alt, and T, which allows you to search for symbols. Uh, and these symbols now, and they're not just necessarily type names uh, or, or file names, but they can also be method names, properties, and fields. And it will very quickly navigate you around. You can do something like uh, find container. You can do um, search for a method name, member reference name, for example, or member full name, sorry. Uh, and it'll find the method for you and navigate you straight there. Uh, or we can do uh, something like uh, token. If you find you've got a lot of items in this list here, all name the same thing, like we've got with token, we can see that ReSharper is going to show you the namespaces that these are defined in. And so one trick we can do here is we can use the uh, namespace initials at the start of the uh, name, put a space to sort of show that there's a, a break there, and um, 
Richard will break it down by namespace and by uh, class name there as well, making it a very easy way to sort of navigate around and get to somewhere. Now, uh, one last thing about the uh, Search Everywhere dialog before we move on, you'll notice there are a couple of other items at the top there. So for example, here, we've got an option to include library types. By default, when you're searching for something, we will just show you uh, symbols that are defined in your project. But if we uh, use the keyboard shortcuts to select include library types, we will also go and find types that are defined in reference libraries, in NuGet packages or in the, the base class library uh, itself. And so that's a very good way of being able to sort of navigate to types which aren't part of your project. Now, this might sound uh, uh, great in uh, one respect, but what can you see when you actually do try and navigate to um, uh, a symbol defined in another project? Well, Resharper gives you a number of options here. Uh, we can have a look at uh, things like the object browser using Visual Studio's built-in object browser. We can have a look at the uh, Assembly Explorer, which is using um, Resharper's built-in decompiler to show the uh, structure of an assembly. Look at uh, framework services on the website through a web browser, or we can use the top option, which is uh, the, the recommended one, really, and you can go to decompile symbols. And uh, Resharper will uh, decompile the items for you. And in fact, it will either decompile them and it will also uh, download PDB files if they're available uh, and also download the actual symbol files that are being used there. And so then you can navigate around to um, base class library items as well. The other thing which is useful to show is at the top of the file there, there's another icon here which looks like a magnifying glass. This allows you to show the results in um, uh, uh, in a tool window. So by default, we get a pop-up value. And if you want to have a look at something, you navigate there, you lose the pop-up value. If we're looking for something specifically, we can show the uh, list of items that are there. We can click the link, uh, the icon here, or we can use the uh, shift enter keyboard shortcut. And uh, Rishap will show that now in a... Um, in a tool window there. We've got a preview there. We can group it in different ways how we want to uh, and navigate around your code uh, in that matter, in that manner. So that's a great way of being able to get to where you want to go if you know exactly where it is that you want to be. Um, once you are in a piece of code, uh, you might want to be looking to see where something is defined. So for example, here we've got this is Windows runtime projection property here. We can now control click and navigate to the, the file that we want to. But we don't want to do control click. We don't want you to use the mouse. We want you to use keyboard shortcuts. And so we've got a better way of navigating around there. We've got, uh, Resharper has a, a ton of navigation features and we've got a, a specific context menu pop-up um, for the navigate to uh, features there. So this is the control shift G keyboard, keyboard shortcut. And it then shows you all the different um, navigation options that are available from this point in your code. So for example, uh, if we are here, we can uh, navigate to the declaration and that will take us to where the item is being declared. Uh, or we can see things like um, symbol, base symbols, usages, related files, uh, the type of the symbol and so on. If we move up back up to the uh, class member here and evoke the item here, we then see uh, a whole bunch of other useful things as well. We can have a look at uh, base symbols. And this is where it will take us up and down the class hierarchy, where uh, indexing not just the text of the files, but the symbols that are being used is really useful because we can tell you uh, where uh, an item is being used semantically. So we can have a look at base symbols to take you up the hierarchy and also derive symbols as well to see what types are actually being derived. Uh, and we can see here that there's a lot of uh, derived classes from uh, member reference here. You can see the top five there, event reference, field reference, and so on. Those are shown in bold. Those are direct descendants, uh, directly deriving from member reference. If we have a look at that event reference there, we can see member references uh, directly um, uh, derived from. And if we show that pop-up again, we can see then the items which are not in bold, those are indirectly defined there. So event definition, for example, derives from event reference. And if we click through on that, we see member reference and so on. One thing that's very useful with this kind of list here as well is we've got a nice long list here. We've just started to use the keyboard um, to, to, to navigate there. We can use the up and down arrow keys, or we can just start typing. And we can then very quickly narrow down the list of items there and very quickly get you to where you need to be. So again, it's a great way of navigating around the code and uh, finding out where you should go. 
One of the other useful things which is in this list here is the find usages. This is a great way to see where your uh, particular classes or methods, properties, and so on are being used within your code. And if you do find usages there, uh, Resharp very quickly uh, will find and show you where these items are being used. We can turn on a preview on the right, and you get to see uh, where these uh, particular symbols are being used in your code. And you can just hit enter and very quickly navigate to that. If we go to declaration, we can get back to where we started from. It's really useful. There are um, other items in here which is uh, very useful. We can uh, show the usages of the symbol. And so that gives us a very quick pop-up again, which we can have a look at. More useful if you've got uh, fewer usages than this particular type, but uh, still helpful. And we can also then um, have a look at a few other items in the Navigate to menu. The um, there are two items here, the consuming APIs and exposing APIs. These are designed to answer a very, very particular question. And I did, this, um, for example, uh, with exposing APIs is, how do I get an instance of this class? And if we select that, um, Resharper will show us everywhere where this class or a derived class is being reused as a return value. And this is a great way to show you uh, how you can get a hold of one of these items here. The similar sort of thing with consuming APIs, this will show you where this particular class is being accepted as a method parameter. And it says, now I've got one of these items, what can I do with it? And you can say, well, I can pass it into this uh, particular method here, as well as call, obviously call of the uh, methods and properties that are on the type. And finally, in the um, item, uh, the, the navigate to menu here, we've got a couple of other useful items here. We've got things like, um, uh, extension methods. In fact, let's get to uh, a different type for that. If we show uh, this one for extension methods, again, it answers the question, uh, what extension methods are available on this particular uh, type here? And Resharp will very quickly shows you where you can, uh, where those items are and where they're defined. And you can very quickly navigate to those items. And uh, we've also got uh, a very useful one here, which is uh, Locating Solution Explorer. There's a specific keyboard shortcut for this, but it will open Solution Explorer and select the, the file itself, which is a very uh, helpful way of working with your code. Once you're in a file, then you will want to be able to navigate around the file itself. Um, and Resharper has tools that, that can help you with this. We have the go to file member pop-up, which will show you all of the members that are defined in this file grouped by the actual type itself. So we can see here, we've got items for uh, member reference uh, and you can just start typing and it will narrow down the items for you. We can see now we've got uh, four different symbols in here, which we can use. We've got uh, a couple of properties and a field and a method. But what we've also got is a finding file, which is really, really helpful. It's a, it's a great way of just look, searching for text really quickly. So we can invoke the go to file member, but also find a bit of text which is in this file. So this is useful if we want to, again, if we want to find an if statement that's in here, we can very quickly find it and navigate to it. Again, if we've got a log file with a particular message, we can very quickly uh, jump to that particular uh, message as it comes. Uh, and again, with the um, go to file member, we have the items here at the top. We can uh, put the results into uh, a tool window, uh, and we can also include uh, base types in there as well. So let's jump to uh, type reference. And if I now search for token, we can see we've got a couple of methods here which are defined in the mixing class. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something in type reference, which has got to do with tokens. Uh, I can see it's being used somewhere here in the text, but if I select the include base members, then uh, Resharp is not just searching in this particular file, but it's searching through the class hierarchy, looking for symbols on uh, type reference, which are um, defined in other classes as well. We can see we've got token and metadata token, both of which are defined in member reference. And if I select that, Resharp will navigate to member reference and find that particular symbol. Again, a very useful way to navigate around your code when you know what it is you're looking for. A couple of other useful things that uh, are helpful with the go to uh, file member pop up. We've got a couple of special things you can search for. You can search for something, you can type public, and this will filter down by public um, pro uh, accessibility, or we can show just private items. 
Uh, and we can also use the CTOR um, abbreviation there to show constructors as well. So it makes it a very nice, easy way to navigate around and just find the things that you need to find in a way that um, isn't necessarily listed based on pure text. And again, once you're inside a file, we can use the Alt, Up and Down keyboards uh, shortcuts to quickly jump between different um, type members. Uh, and we can also use the uh, we can use the Control and uh, left square bracket to navigate up in the hierarchy there of uh, of blocks and um, go up a member. If you want to uh, navigate around uh, within different files here, if we're working on different files and not just within the same class hierarchy, we have a couple of keyboard shortcuts, uh, such as Control, Comma, to show recent files. And here, Rishap will show you the, the files which you've recently been uh, looking in and working with. And again, we can just start typing those down to, to find those. And it will show you the recent files. And if those, then the, those files haven't been opened, we'll also do a quick search then to try and find you the actual file to go to. And we can very quickly navigate around and get you to somewhere where it is that you need to be. But sometimes what you want to actually do is not just go back to a file which you've been looking at, but a file which you've been working on and a file which you've been editing. And sometimes if you've navigated a long way while you're trying to read some code, you can't quite remember where the file was that you were changing. And so Rishap has got another option with, uh, um, with, with the recent files, where instead of just showing you the recent files, it also shows you your recent edits. And this is the Control, Shift, and Comma keyboard shortcut. This will show us a pop-up now of just the changes that have happened. And again, we can select these here, and we can see now where the change was that uh, I recently made. One more feature for um, navigation around inside a file is that you can see that there are a number of inspection results being shown within this, um, this particular file here. We've got a number of uh, inconsistent style usages where we could be using an expression body property instead of using the, the getter syntax. And we can see that those are being highlighted, they're being grayed out, they've, we've got uh, suggestions uh, and so on. There's also some naming standards which we could um, uh, update and change. If we want to navigate between them, um, Rishapa also has a keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, we can use the Alt page up and page down keyboard shortcut and we'll very quickly cycle through all the different items that are uh, there that need attention. And so it's a great way of jumping uh, straight to the area that you need to work on next. Finally, with navigation, uh, two last things I want to show you. Uh, one which is really, really useful is to actually navigate around the IDE itself. And this is the Control Shift A keyboard shortcut, uh, which is for find action. And finding an action here now allows us to very quickly go and find uh, a feature that is uh, in Resharper, but we can't. perhaps we can't remember the keyboard shortcut. We can just start typing for it. So we can do uh, Control Shift A and start typing something like rename, or if we wanted to uh, move a class, we can just start typing move. Uh, or if we wanted to do uh, cleanup, we can just start typing and, and find those items there. You can do the same sort of thing from the Alt Enter menu as well. So if you can't even remember the Find Action keyboard shortcut, just hit Alt Enter and start typing. And finally, one last feature which is really useful is if you have, uh, again, working with log files, if you have an exception from a uh, log file and you want to try and navigate around that, you can simply copy it from another file. And when you come back into Resharper, Resharper sees what's on the um, stack, uh, on the, the clipboard, and it will paste that into a Stack Trace Explorer. And it parses the Stack Trace, and it makes things clickable. So we can navigate around very easily. I can click on the links to take me to the directly to the particular uh, file and line. Um, but I can also click on um, method names, and it will take me to the the methods themselves. Uh, and we recognize types as well, which are being uh, defined in uh, method parameters uh, or in the uh, uh, method itself, in the, in the stack trace itself. So again, a great way of navigating around your code uh, based on something like a stack trace uh, from a log file. So as you can see, there are a lot of features uh, within Resharper for navigation. We can help you very quickly navigate to where you want to go. Once you are there, you can navigate around a file and see what's inside the file. You can search by text, you can search by uh, name, by full name, by abbreviated name based on the, the camel humps of the, the names itself. Uh, we can search the, the symbols within a file. Uh, we can walk up and down the class hierarchy. We can see the find usages 
um, of symbols being used in your project, uh, wherever it is that you need to go. We can even uh, navigate based on a stack trace um, from a, a log file. And of course, if you get stuck trying to find any of these things in the ID itself, you just use Alt Enter and start typing. And we can then navigate around the IDE and the actions that are available to you there. 